In this tutorial we will learn how to do robot simulation using ROS2 Jazzy and Gazebo Harmonic. As an example, we will use this four-wheel steering robot. ROS2 Jazzy is the newest version of ROS, and Gazebo Harmonic is the newest version of Gazebo Simulator. ROS2 Jazzy is not much different from Humble. But Gazebo Harmonic is different from Gazebo Classic, which we have used in our previous tutorials. So, we will pay close attention to the difference between these two simulators. For detailed explanation of ROS2 control and theory of four-wheel steering, please see this tutorial. In this tutorial I assume that the viewer has already installed ROS2 Jazzy. If you have not, please follow the installation instructions on this page. The link to this page is in the description below. We have to install a few more additional packages. Install the ROS2 control package. This package contains main interfaces and components of the ROS2 control framework. Then, install the ROS2 controllers package. This package contains commonly used and generalized controllers such as forward command controller, joint trajectory controller, differential drive controller. Other ROS2 control related packages will be installed automatically along with these two packages. Next, install the ROS Gazebo package. This is a meta package which holds packages that provide integration between ROS and Gazebo. Note that each ROS distribution has a recommended version of Gazebo. By executing this command, a suitable version of Gazebo will be automatically installed. Install the Gazebo ROS2 control package. This is a package for integrating the ROS2 control controller architecture with the Gazebo simulator. Since we will operate our robot using a joypad, install joypad related packages. The asterisk is a wildcard character used in shell commands to represent zero or more characters. Here, we are telling the package manager to install any package that starts with ROS Joy. Next, install Joint State Publisher. This package publishes joint state messages for a robot. The package reads the robot description parameter from the parameter server, finds all of the non-fixed joints and publishes a joint state message with all those joints defined. Now let's see the code. Please download the FWS Robot Harmonic zip file from the Google Drive and extract it to your home directory. The link is in the description below. In the source directory we have three packages. Let's take a look at each of them starting from the FWS Robot Description package. In the config directory there are setting files for our viz and ROS2 controllers. Format of ROS2 controllers setting yum file is absolutely the same with that we used previously. The joint state broadcaster reads all state interfaces and reports them to the joint states topic and the dynamic joint states topic. Here, we define controllers. In this tutorial, both forward position controller and forward velocity controller are forward command controller types. This controller just forwards the commands down to a joint. Here, properties of the controller are defined. Here are the joints that controller will control. Interface name should be the same as the command interface name defined in the Zacro file. The command interface is read and write data that handles hardware commands, such as setting wheel rotation velocity reference. The state interfaces is read-only data handles, that generally represents sensor's readings. In the Gazebo directory, we have a Zacro file in which Gazebo plugins are defined. In this part, we are defining plugin for ROS2 control. 
Note the file name and name are different from how we defined them in Gazebo Classic. Also, there is a difference in loading plugin for sensors. In Gazebo Classic, we had to load plugin for each sensor, but in case of Gazebo Simulation we are loading just one plugin for all sensors. The parameters for defining each sensor are mostly identical to how they were defined in Gazebo Classic. In the Meshes directory, there are SDF files for robot collision calculation and DAY files for robot visualization. This directory is the same as in Gazebo Classic. In the RAS2 control directory, there is a file defining interfaces for each joint. Under RAS2 control tag, robots hardware setup is described. Note that as a plugin we should specify GZ RAS2 control gazebo sim system instead of gazebo RAS2 control gazebo system as we did it with gazebo classic. Definition of interface for each joint is the same as gazebo classic. In the robots directory, a Zacro file which describes the whole robot, and a Zacro file for each part are placed. In these files, there are no special changes related to gazebo simulation. Now let's look at the FWS robot sim package. In this package, we have a launch file to start the simulation and a world file which describes gazebo world. Launch file structure itself is identical to the launch file from previous ROS2 distributions. In these lines, we get paths of directories in which launch files that we will use are placed. In this part, gazebo resource path is set. It is required so that gazebo can find mesh files of the robot and world file. Here, launch argument is declared. This launch argument can be used when we want to launch the simulation with another world file. In these lines, we are defining how we want to launch gazebo. Here, the world file is specified. V4 flag sets the verbosity level of Gazebo's console output. R tells Gazebo to start running simulation immediately. In this part, we are reading the robot Zacro file, defining robot state publisher and spawning the robot into Gazebo. Note that we can define the robot's initial position and orientation using these arguments. Here, ROS2 controllers are activated. In these lines, the ROS Gazebo bridge node is defined. This is a new feature of Gazebo. In Gazebo Classic, communication with ROS is enabled by plugins in Gazebo ROS packages that directly interact with the simulator. In contrast, in the new Gazebo, communication with ROS is mainly done through topic bridges provided by the ROS Gazebo package. In the arguments section, we should specify ROS topic name, ROS message type and gazebo message type. All message types that can be bridges can be found on this page. Finally, we define a node to start our VIS2. When launching the simulation, for some processes we are using the on-process exit event handle to register a callback function that is executed after the target action defined here. This is required when one process requires results of a previously started process. Lastly, let's see the velocity pub package. Open the robot control pi script. These are robot dimensions. Note that if the wheel steering axis goes through wheel center, Y offset value will be zero. These are the arrays to store steering angles and wheel velocities. 
The order of the joints is as has been defined in the FWS robot simyum file. Also, note that name of the topics should be controller name plus commands. In these lines, wheel angle and velocity are calculated according to the mode. Note that wheel velocity and position signs also depend on how you have defined your model in a Zacro file. After calculating the angles, we have to convert them to the float64 multi-array format and publish them. Here, operation mode of the robot is decided based on which button has been pressed. In this tutorial, I have used an Xbox 360 controller, so if you are using a different controller, make sure which button corresponds to array index number. It can be easily confirmed by publishing the joy topic. When a button is pushed, the corresponding index value should become 1. In this part, robot target velocities are calculated based on joystick value. In the real robot, these values should be decided based on actuator capabilities, but in the simulation, you can set it as you want. Now, let's do the simulation. To build the packages, move to the FWS robot harmonic directory and execute the Colkin build command. To launch the simulation, open a new terminal and execute FWS robot spawn launch pi script. Then, open a second terminal and execute the 4WS control launch pi script. By operating the controller, we can move the robot. Also, Laser scan data is visualized in our viz.